Even with full access to health care, Canadians can have experiences that are less than ideal. When one Ontario woman believed she had a stroke, but doctors didn't, she recorded herself when she felt the symptoms coming on again. And she's sharing it with the world. The CBC's Cass Rusi reports. It was a night much like this one. Stacy Jeppes was at home watching TV when it happened. The whole left side of my body went very numb and tingly. And in my head, it's like, this is a stroke. And I'm like, I can't be having a stroke. So she went to her local hospital for help. Doctors said it wasn't a stroke. They had said that it was stress related and, you know, told me to learn how to manage my stress. When it happened again in her car a few days later, the 48-year-old did something incredible. So now I'm taking a picture for an example of what happens. Using her smartphone, she taped her own symptoms. It's all tingling on the left side. You have the wherewithal to turn a camera on. Yep. What possessed you to do that and why? Because I just needed somebody to see what was happening. When I'm telling people this has happened and they're saying it's stress, I'm like, I know this is not stress. Her video was eventually shown to doctors at Toronto Western Hospital. It's a small area that we see here. That's the area of injury. And Stacy's self-diagnosis was confirmed. She'd had a mini stroke, three of them in fact. Things that we typically think that is associated with older age, like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, is happening more and more often in younger people. So young patients can present with stroke. Relief that finally somebody believed that it was not stress. My tongue feels very numb. Stacy's now at home recovering. And that video she took, her local hospital has asked for it, to have a look at it and learn from it. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.